Welcome back everybody to this new video to express. Let's take a look at which one is better, Equit or Shopify. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you this website that I have created myself. Check it out, it's called Milk Store. I have my featured products in here. I have here the, the newsletter, a few collections, and more about the quick links. I go up, here's my catalog, here's my contact boson, and that's it. Now, let's see my other website. Here into this website, I uh, have this into Spanish, but check it out here. I have a few more elements, more color stuff, feature products, uh, more about my stuff here, buttons, uh, some, this could be like some customer reviews with different titles. And I scroll a little bit down and check it out. We do have even times here in the schedules. So uh, as you might be noticing, one of these was created with Edward and the other one was created or Shopify. So basically, this one actually was created with Edward and the other one was created with Shopify. Both of them were actually created uh, totally for free. We are using a free buzz in um, Shopify, but this is like just a trial buzz and a trial buzz is going to be giving you three days to use the Shopify, all the elements that Shopify has to offer to us, but for just a limited time. Meanwhile, here into Equid, we do have a free version. A free version has limited stuff, of course, but this is free forever. You don't have any kind of trial version. So this is something that if you're just getting started into the e-commerce world, I believe like the best tool that you want to use is to use something that is totally for free and you're not going to be get, getting charged, of course. I mean, um, Shopify is going to be helping you to figure out how does the application works, what are the elements that Shopify has to offer, and it's really great. But it is only a trial version of almost three days. Meanwhile, here into the actual Equid, this is totally for free. Now, the free version or the trial version of the Shopify has a few theme library. So I'm going to hit into the theme store so you can check it out what are the actual theme library that are totally for free. Of course, there are some limited, but you wanted to check this out. So uh, I'm going to hit now into all the themes. Price totally for free. And as you can see, we only have 12 free stuff available. So inside the custom section of Edward, if I go into this website, I hit into domain and you can go directly into the site appearance and you can change the instant side. So once again, I believe all of those elements are a little bit limited. But here I do have more appearance, more content into my site. It's actually looking really great, the actual editor. And I don't have to do like a lot to work in here. So this is something that I do love to use into Edward. Now, with that being said, I am not saying that Shopify is less better than Edward. Edward is a little bit more affordable for people who are just getting started to live for free. Shopify usually has three plans the basic one the shopify plan and the advanced plan and of course the prices are a little bit high and now they do have to get the first three months for only one dollar per month so that means that you can try whatever plan you want to for only three dollars uh for for the next three months but now you do have a new plan called the starter plan the startup plan is to sell products through social media and messaging application with only $5 per month. This is like the most basic and easy way to use Shopify. I mean, this is not for free, but this is really cheap and low price. So with only paying $5, you don't have access to everything inside these actual stuff of Shopify. So what is the startup plan? Can I upgrade this? How much the starter cost? What does the starter plan include? The star Shopify starter plan includes what you need to do to start to selling products. And you can start to sell into Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, TikTok, Etsy, LinkedIn, uh, Simple Online. So this is like the premium mode of Equid. If I go back into Equid, I go into upgrade. Check it out. We have the Bento mode, which is 309 MX, which that means that this is the way to make the conversion between USD $18 per month. 
I believe, three times a little bit more expensive than Shopify. But here into Shopify Setter Plan, you do have all of these elements available for you. So I believe that if you're willing to get started, since you don't know anything about selling stuff, the best solution to get started with is to get started with Equit because Equit it's totally free and you're able to sell up to five products totally for free. You don't need to pay absolutely for anything. When you gain a little bit of experience using Equit, then I think like the best thing to do is to move on to the next step, which is try the startup plan of Shopify. Uh, speaking about the comparison between Shopify and Equit, Equit could be really great to people who are just getting started and Shopify is a little bit more professional for people who let's say have like a sort of an idea of what they can actually do here into Shopify. If you're willing to get started into Shopify and not use Equit, I believe that of course you have the free plan for three days and then later on you can pay for whatever plan you're willing to use for three dollars uh, for the next three months and then later on it's going to be charging you five dollars per month which is actually really really looking great for people who are just getting started into the Shopify. So hopefully with that information you might be knowing which one is the best tool for you don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel we personally love to get started for free with the equit then later on we love to get started with the startup plan of shopify saving tons of money and learning a lot from the e-commerce world but that will be totally up to you so with that being said once again don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching the video hopefully guys i can see you all next time